Good afternoon, comrades. Comrades. <laughs> comrades. Uh, we had just come from seeing Disney's Princess and the Frog, second best Disney princess movie, second to Beauty and the Beast, in my opinion. First to me. First to her. Because I love Belle, love you, but Tiana, she was kicking some ass. Everything I thought about the movie that I was going to be bad about it, I didn't care. It was friggin' amazing. And wait, 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 wait. Spoilers all the way through, so if you don't want to know what happens, stop watching now. Stefania, break it down for that. What you guys say? She has a beautiful dress. It is. It was really beautiful. I'm jealous. Both her dresses look, look really good on her. Um, mm -hmm. So, what is that at the beginning? The beginning. Okay. Tiana's little girl is so adorable. She is so cute. cute. She had dimples and everything. And I love how she's afraid of frogs. That's so. She, she did a black. She, she screamed. Did a whole she, like, she was she's a black. <laughs> and she was ass. She's like, ah. She's like, I will never, ever, 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 ever kiss a frog. I was just like, and she wishes upon a star. I know. Oprah was there too. We don't really care yeah, about her. Yeah. Whatever. And then I love how she come. She come back in, tired, exhausted, lay out of the bed, like, <laughs> work again. And then she did the thing where she gotta go to work again. That is the black woman's life right mm -hmm. there. I, that's most working women lives right now. She got two jobs. Dose. Two jobs. You know that she was struggling. And it was just so sweet watching her try so hard to get that money for the restaurant. She's just like, with her little tips. That's why you gotta tip your waitresses. Tip your waitresses. Tip the cabbies if they're nice to you. If they not, if they want to be a jerk, don't tip them. But tip your waitresses. Tip Sucky Stackhouse. They need to get paid too. Like the waitresses. How to the waitresses? Word. And you know what? Tiana? Wait, where is she at? She put her boy in the video. She reminded me a lot of Belle. That's why these two are my favorite. Because they're both strong, independent. Oh, they got yellow gloves. I love you much. Oh my god, yes. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and she's just a strong character. I love that about her because she's really strong, really independent. Yes, yellow shoes. Oh my god, they have matching shoes too. Okay, stop. And, <laughs> and they both were working. She's just working hard to achieve her dreams. And like, for some reason, when her thing about like, I'm not waiting on fairy tales. I got half of that. That reminded me of me for some reason. Like, I that whole. When you wish upon a star. It's just a ball of gas from the sky. Except Evangeline. Evangeline is real. What? She is real. <laughs> she is real. Don't listen to anyone who says you that she's not. She's real. Okay. And then, Naveen is like. Dang. He is like the best Disney prince. So I would put him par with like the Beast and Aladdin because he has a, a good personality. He is like Gaston, except He's sexy. not. This is true. He's sexy. But he's like Gaston, except not a douchebag. He's just kind of like that Gaston thingy. He's also like Dimitri from Anastasia. But um, it kicks up with the Shadow Man, Dr. Falacian, who is voiced by Keith David, who, if you don't know, is Goliath from Gargoyles back in the day. Back in the day. Y'all too young to know this. Y'all don't know. No, they, they use your eyes. Yeah, they, they, yeah. they down. Yeah. We all stuff from the 80s, and we're not even from that time period. But he was in it. And if you don't know Gargoyles, he was the cat in Coraline. No. He's he was the bomb, and he's playing the villain. And then you have Lawrence, who's the the annoying side, sidekick cabbie. kind of villain. He's the sidekick villain. He's like LaFou from um, Beauty and the Beast, like mm -hmm. Gaston's little mm -hmm. little midget guy that's always following around and dorky. That's him, except old. That's gonna be him in like fifty years. <laughs> that's him in like his fifty years old. And they he does this whole thing, and he does the voodoo magic, and Naveen is now a frog, and. And it's uh, not slime, it's mucus. mucus. Yeah, he made that very clear several times. I oh. felt so sad for Tiana. No, look. So, Tiana gets the money to get this restaurant. She's singing about her dream. Like, La, her and Oprah. Her sing. mama. Her, it's Oprah. <laughs> it's Oprah. And then she goes to the party. And then the guy is like, a, a woman of your background. Your background cannot, <laughs> cannot have this, this, this is fine establishment. And you know, as soon as he said background, we were like... I know you did. It's just like, cause you know what that meant. I was like, oh my mm -hmm. god, racism, right there. Racism. It seen it. Spot it. Seen it. X. And she had the money too. She had her little tin. She had like can. a million tin cans full of money. See, I seen many people had those tin cans. She was the bomb. And they bump it into the thing, and she forget her dress. Oh, during that party, there were so many references to other, like, movies. It was hilarious. There was, like, there was the Sleeping Beauty Snow White, yes, like, Cinderella the, dance. That big, poofy nonsense that dress. That big, poofy nonsense dress with the big, little, roundy thingies. There was, like, a, a mermaid, a little, little mermaid, mermaid in there. They had, um... They had um, a King Triton float. Did you guys see that? The King Triton float? I was like, oh, my God, Triton. <laughs> that little girl, Charlotte, she was obnoxious. Annoying. She could not stop talking for, like, three hours. She's like, I'm gonna find a friend. I'm so love. Daddy, give me money. Daddy, give me it was it was just like too much. But when Naveen comes, 
Naveen is just like he has swag. I don't know mm-hmm. what nationality he is. We're not. But he, we're, we're gonna figure. We're gonna figure. Cause he got. Cause he swag. Says, says mag mag the. He he he. Mag the, ma, 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 Madonna. That's not a Madonna. real. It's not a real country though. It's made it's, up. Well, it's, it's, it's he's like he's like he's like black Hispanic Middle Eastern kind all of, kind of stuff mixed together. We don't know what he is, but we know he's he's awesome and we love he's him. He's sexy. He's sexy. He is like, bam, sexiest prince. Ever. He beats Beast and Aladdin because Aladdin like he's a dork. Beast, I love Beast, but Naveen got it going on. Mm. Personality wise, he's mm. like on and he's adorable. He's adorable. No, let me tell you who stole my heart, Ray. Ray. <laughs> spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. Spoiler. When he gets stepped on and he dies. All right, first of all, he's in love with the star Evangeline. He's like deep, deep in love with her. But he doesn't know that she's not. A, she's a star. She I think he and not he he, he he in denial if if he does know. If he doesn't know, he just crazy. It doesn't matter. He's he's amazing. He gets stepped on by by the, by, doctor. by the doctor by, by Goliath. Goliath steps on him, and then he dies. He actually like no coming back to life dies. We were in shock. I started like I, tearing up. I'm like, cry. I'm not gonna cry for a mother. Then what happened? They had the funeral service, and so it's he comes and then they put him in. And then when you look up at the sky, there were two stars, stars and it's like they're together. At last. And I started crying. I don't cry for live action. When people die in like regular movies, that's okay, whatever. Like, but in cartoons, I cry for a fly. What he, is he's a firefly? Firefly. I can't. Have, fireflies are amazing. If you swap them, you are going to. With Professor, with the doctor, because he, he got dragged drag, like, to hell. Uh, you don't mess with voodoo, shadows, I don't know what you're doing. What's wrong with you, you, Goliath? What's wrong with you, Goliath? What's wrong with you? Don't mess with voodoo. And, like, you see Naveen slowly falling in love with Tiana. And, and it's, it's a, like, it's real, not, like, fake falling in love. It's real. It's, like, it's, I think it's one of the most real, you know what I, what we talked about, we noticed? Every couple in Disney that starts off hating each other and then starts and ends up liking each other is always better developed than the ones that like each other right away. Mm-hmm. Like, look at it. Pocahontas, good. Mulan, good. Beauty and the Beast, good. This movie, Princess the Frog, good. Awesome. Awesome sauce. All them other ones where they love each other automatically, it's boring because right. there's no real drama. You have to make there's the drama no up. Connection. But with this, they grow up. He, she teaches him how to cook. Word. And Mince, he was minced and, and, and he falls in love with her. It's so sweet. He even makes a little he ring. Tries. He's like, so I'm not gonna marry the girl. I'm gonna get three jobs. It's like I'm gonna get one job. No, two jobs. I'll get three, three jobs. jobs to take care of her. That's so sweet. That's a real man right there. Oh and I was like, when he could turn right into a frog, it was okay. They still got married. And then he was like, when they kiss, she's a princess now. Smartness. So, that, that was that was genius. That right was there. smart. That was I didn't genius. think about that. When I read the spoiler, so I knew. But I didn't think about that before know. I read the spoiler. She ain't know. And then she's like, she grabbed it like, you got yourself a princess. I'm like, you go ahead, girl. And he's like, he's like, I'm gonna kiss her again. I'm like, oh! <laughs> dude, <laughs> he's like, he's like, what is he saying? How do you say? He's like, I. Well, I'm gonna kiss her again. Like, you kiss like, you kiss princess. He's like, he's like, well, I'm gonna kiss her again. He's like, ah. Getting that on DVD as soon as it come out. I'm mm-hmm. downloading that stuff, make videos for it, anything. But she's a bomb. I was so happy. And then she finally got her restaurant. I and then and then Charlotte, I think that's the blonde girl's name. She's like the little prince who's like six years old. He's like, I'm six, six and, and a half. half years old. She's like, I can wait. I'm like, oh my god, pedophile. I've like, <laughs> waited this long. I can wait a little longer. Oh my god. I was like, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob. Oh, cold, cold. <laughs> Jacob. Mm-hmm. Oh god, pedophilia. But anyway. It's disease. epic. Go check it out. The bomb. Oh, and Mama Odie. Oh, yeah, Mama Odie. Her song was popping. Mm-hmm. Was, yeah, I told you so. Like, she was just funny. And, like, she beats the fairy godmother from Cinderella. Mm-hmm. If they got into a fight, it'd be over. Don't Mama Odie be like, boom! I snake. got 20 bucks in the Mama Odie. 20. She, she just get her snake be like, what's your wild Odie? <laughs> <laughs> just with her with the snake. Just, and she blind. Mm-hmm. And she blocked, and she got in because she killed shadows. Mm-hmm. You th- that doesn't that sound impressive, but when those vo- are voodoo shadows that will come and kill you, drag your soul to hell, it's impressive that a blind woman can kill them. Mm-hmm. It was like Ghost <laughs> when uh, <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg. That's what she was. Mm-hmm. Anyway, if you ever seen Princess and the Frog, I and I know. one was a purple who was like skeptical about the movie. I take it all back. I was totally wrong. I got down. Everyone told me I was full of shit. I was full of shit because. She is the bomb. That movie was the bomb. And I want to go see it again with my mommy. Have a nice day. So we agree. It was double plus good. Double plus good. Double plus good. And bye.